Afternoon everyone. Nice afternoon actually. Um, I said it yesterday. Um, yeah, the weather's definitely definitely on the change. They said it was going to get to 30 today. Uh, nowhere near it. Just cracking 25 and there's already a nice breeze. So it's not going to get any hotter than that. Even the dogs are loving it. He's found the only bit of shade in the, on the grass there. Uh, he, was, he was in the sun warming up there. Um, so what I'm doing today is put the sandblaster out. So what we're going to do, I've just 3D printed on the resin printer uh, some of these things. Um, we need them but they're not important to show just yet. So there's, these are identical, there's two sets identical. Um, so these go on the scooter. Uh, I think, yeah, so that one, oh maybe not, hang on. What, it fits better one way. I think that's at the back like that. Um, I've only got one hand to do this. I think this is at the front. Yeah, like that. And then another one down there. And Vicky Verky over here, like that. Uh, whichever way it fits. Yeah, whichever way it fits easier, that's the way it's going to go. Um, and then with that, then that big flat bit that's still up there goes inside this bag. And that way you can cut all your straps off these bags and you can kind of put these where you want them. They don't have to be taking up uh, like the straps go around there and then two straps there so it's a bit neater, it's a nice neater install, the only thing is that's the only colour resin I have and I don't like that colour so what we're going to do is paint them and the only other thing I don't like, I'm pretty sure you can see the problem there is this bit, this arch here is very very thin so you can actually see through it there so I don't know what's going to happen when we actually clamp down on these um, I'm thinking of just doing them with uh, zip ties rather than a nut and a bolt because I'm pretty sure that's going to break and what I'll, do, what I'll also do is uh, glue in I'm pretty sure I've got some uh, I got, oh there we go some, oh, I can't really bend down my back's a bit crooked at the moment but um, some non-slip non-slip um, I don't know what it's called but it's like on a roll and you just cut whatever you need it's this stuff exactly this stuff, it's like a non-slip kind of thing. So I might just cut a couple little strips to glue inside and then just zip tie it and that, that's not going to go anywhere, that'll be fine. Um, I've drilled these out to 4 mil, these holes, so if we need to we can drill them out a bit more. But yeah, they go right through, they go right through, um, and these ones don't. So that must be the back, that must be the front, and then that goes in the bag. I think that makes sense, yeah, yep, I think that's what it is with the post in the middle and then that's the clamp for, oh righto, that's why that's got that cut out, there you go, yeah, so it is a bit thicker than that, yeah, cool, yeah, yep, so this won't actually do any flexing to break because you're going right through, yeah, cool, yeah, I just, I don't think I have, um, <coughs> oh jeez, I might, yeah, we'll see. Oh, there we go. I don't think any of them are long enough, though. So. Yeah, there's another bag another thing there. We'll see what we can do. If, 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 we, got an, if we can do it with Bolt, it, it'll be a bit cleaner. I've just got to go really slowly and just make sure not to um, not to break it. But, yeah, anyway, what we're going to do is chuck them in the... I'm going to sandblast them. I've never done it before. So we'll see what happens. I'll just have to cut some of these um, prickly stuff off because that's the support. Um, and then it'll, the sandblasting will give it a really nice finish, ready to paint, uh, really nice, and take off all this kind of junk here. So you can see it there; it's a little bit ripply. That's that's where all the um, support was because it printed like that. But you can see on that side it's quite nice. So yeah, we'll give it a shot anyway. Um, and then probably we'll paint it. Sorry, crap in the way. Uh, Oh, a hammer finish might go alright. Yeah. Uh, but definitely primer filler. Yeah, if you do it black, I suppose it'll match the bag. Um, but I do have this grey colour. Because the scooter's not actually black. It's a bit lighter. Uh, but it, it is the same colour. Because I think the stem's different to them. Or is that just the way the... Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, but that might, that might work. No primer or 
required for new bar steel wrought iron and pre-painted metals that's more of a metal paint um, anyway I'll figure the color out later but that might be the way to do it um, I can't even remember why I bought this have I used it no I haven't even used it um, I think that was just some gutter work or something but anyway all good um, so yeah I'll sandblast it first and then we'll see how we go I can't really film it because um, you, you won't see through the uh, through that thing there and plus I need two hands to do it all so yeah but anyway uh, give me a couple couple seconds and we'll, we'll get through it and I'll show you the finished product okay not bad um, this stuff's really tough actually oh, I'm quite surprised I um, like held it in a few few places really try to get rid of that but no it wouldn't wouldn't budge but um, it has left a nice finish so I think we're, we're good enough to go off I've, I've got them all um, strung up ready to go so um, yeah I'll just put the primer get my, get my primer should have left this in the sun it's a good idea to leave these in the sun the um, paint goes thinner and um, it pressurizes the can a bit more so you get more pressure when you paint leaves a nicer nicer finish um, I am, I'm gonna do it this color just um, oh actually that's brand new so let's do hammer finish because that's almost the hammer finish is almost finished if that makes sense so we'll do that leave that in the sun too so um, that primer dries real quick, so like five minutes. So um, yeah, it won't take long between coats. Hammer finish is about the same, 15, 20 minutes. So I'll get this knocked over today. Just a quick little, quick little project. Uh, probably won't put it together today though. Um, that hammer finish takes a bit to, um, bit to dry. So it's going to turn out like this. So that's the kind of the finish we'll get. It's, a, it's fairly thick paint, so it hides your, hides your. Um, Hide your sins um, if you don't sand something perfectly or like that has a bit of ripple on it so it'll hide it pretty nice and then I think that color will match match this nice I'm actually I had the bag facing frontwards I'm actually gonna face it backwards now um, just makes a bit more sense plus uh, you, there's a light here if you can see there there's a headlight and a reflector so I was covering up both of them with the bag on the front um, I'm only did it because that one there's got the bag on the front because that's where it's meant to go but I think with this one it makes more sense if you put it here um, my mate put his on the front saw it on the weekend and um, no dramas because this closes and hooks onto that thing down there and it still does that so we're all good there so <clears throat> I won't cut until I know this works I'm not cutting anything off that just yet because um, it was a fairly neat install anyway the only thing you had two straps coming down to the bag that the straps that go this way were pretty pretty good you didn't didn't see them so um yeah but i think this would be better i think i've done oh no i've used straps on that one too but i think on my previous scooter i did this and it looked really nice there was no you can't see any straps so but anyway i'll get this painted up i'll have to change my glasses because that's one thing i've learned is um uh, don't even put these near the door put these far back as you can because um, i've painted out there before with my glasses on and you get speckles of paint all over them uh, so then another time I left my glasses here changed and went out there come back and I still had paint because the, the, the speckles of whatever I was painting come come back in the shed um, so yeah leave them over there so there's no chance of it um, so yeah I'll get back to you after probably two coats of primer I'll show you what it looks like and then two or three coats of paint and I'll show you what that looks like okay so that's two coats of primer just got them hanging up. Put in the sun. Kind of, kind of see it. Just makes it look a bit, um, a bit more uniform. Looks good. All right, I'll start working on some paint now. Okay, that's all done. Um, I didn't end up using the hammer finish paint because you can see it's really nice. Really nice satin finish. Yeah, looks pretty good. That's two coats, and I think that's enough. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, let's do one more. So I'll give him another ten minutes. We'll do one more. Um, I think I'll just put one in here for some reason. No, that's so. That's the paint I use. That's um hammer finish paint. There was no air left in it. Oh, I thought the thought the cap was um 
clogged, but I swapped the caps and nothing came out, so yeah, it's out of juice. I tried pumping it up with compressor, but it wouldn't work. Um, so yeah, bumper coating. Uh, it's for plastic, so I thought, well, might as well use that. And it's it'll match that pretty good then. At least not red, yellow, or whatever other stupid colour i got. So um, yeah, for some reason I don't have a lot of black. I think I've got one other, this one. But that's like a shiny, I oh know, flat black. Yeah, so that would have been alright. There's not a lot left in there. I doubt I would have got it. So, um, all good. Um, so I'll get back to you uh, probably tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow morning we might chuck all this back on. I've got a bit of fuel hose from a mate of mine. Uh, what I'm going to do is heat this up. It's a little bit too too small. I'm going to go and dip it in some really hot boiling water. And it's going to be like a little... Uh, a little... Um, thing to go on the on the kickstand there just so it raises it up a little bit because you can see it's got a little bit of a lane so yeah if it was up a little bit more it'd be good and also sometimes I'll have this in the house and you can hear it like it's rubbing on the tiles in the house so I just wanted to put a bit of rubber there to um, stop that so yeah I'll have to I'll do that in the morning because I can't really bend down right now um, due to the, the old back giving up on me today so um, we'll leave it at that I think um, and I'll see you in a little bit tomorrow morning and yeah, finish the painting. Oh, actually, I'll do one more coat on that, so then that's got overnight to dry with the three coats on it. Uh, that paint is very fine, but I think that's because it's a bumper bumper coating. It's not a proper paint. Oh, well, it is a proper paint, but it's got it's got some funny nozzle on it. Where is it? Oh, I put it away, did I? Uh, what did I do with it? Wow, that doesn't take long to lose things in here. What did I do with it? I thought I just had it there. Uh, what did I do? Here. Yeah, it's got this funny nozzle on it that I've never seen before. That kind of nozzle. So, yeah, it's really fine. It says something here that it's like a spray gun. The only funny thing is it doesn't tell you drying times or how many coats or anything like that. It just says two to three light coats, but it doesn't say drying time or touch dry and then full cure and whatever time. But, yeah, I don't know. So, um, yeah, I'll, get, I'll leave it in the sun to thin it out a bit and increase pressure. Uh, yeah, give it one more coat and we're, we're done. But, I'll um, yeah, I'll give it one more coat now. And then um, we'll put it together tomorrow morning. That way it's nice and dry and I'm not getting paint everywhere and getting paint all over that. Plus I want to make sure it is dry. Um, I've got some of that non-slip matting stuff. So we'll cut some strips up tomorrow morning, glue it in with a little bit of super glue, make sure it's dry, and then we'll put it on. And if I can do it with um, oh, black zip ties, we'll do it. Um, I've got these ones a little bit... I really need to go... Yeah, there, see, see, these are a bit longer. So they're my longest ones, and they'll fit. They're a bit fatter, but a bit shorter. Yeah, that's all I've got. That's all I've got. So we'll leave them out, and we'll see what we can do with them. And um, I don't think I'm going to have bolts big enough, because it's going to have to be... Unless I've got some in here. Uh, no, no, they're all screws. Oh, there we go. What's that? Nah. Too fat. That's okay. Yeah, I'll see what i got. But, yeah, I reckon we'll just do it with zip ties. I reckon it's going to be just as good. Um, it's going to be two zip ties. And there's not a lot of stuff in there. That bag's not very heavy. It's just got a few little tie repair thing. Oh, actually, it's got the pump in there. It is, it is quite heavy. Anyway, we'll see what happens. See what happens. But anyway, see you in the morning. Okay, um... Bit of a win, but a bit of a fail as well. These only work <clears throat> if you mount the bag at the front. Um, you can see how nice and tight they are. But if you come around the back, it's a different profile. You can see the gap. See the gap there. So not going to fit that way. And they have to be that way. That 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 mounts to the bag, and that is the nice uh, front bit, like that. Sorry, back bit, because you can see the gap. Oh, you, yeah, I think you can see the gap just there. If you go here, it's a nice and tight fit. So, is what it is. The bag's going at the front. I'm going to make it a bit lower and make it just mount just underneath this reflector, just so we're not uh, blocking that. Or maybe just right under it. It doesn't really matter if I block it, because I've got the light just here. So, that's all good. 
um, and I'm going to take the pl I've actually found some bolts as well um, just the right size so like that and then they'll go like that and then one of these goes in there so it's all hidden hidden fixings in there so all good uh, a bit of Loctite and put it all together and you can see it's all bumpy I'll make sure I put it that way and it looks really nice that way so that's up like that and nice and nice and silky smooth that was good paint that actually I was just taking pictures of it and showed my mate um, he actually just sent me a photo of his one all mounted up uh, he's got the bag this side on this side with the straps and um, I said if it works out I'll print him a set but knowing now that it has to go on the front he probably doesn't want it but it doesn't matter um, alright so um, I'll cut these straps off cut the straps off and then I'd say I'm just gonna uh, yeah these fit yep perfect like that. that this is actually made for this bag really really nicely a um, bit of a fluke so anyway yeah I'll cut the straps off and then um, drill some holes for these and we're all good to go right eh? we're done that turned out pretty good I've, I've, I've made it so that um, it pretty much covers that reflector um, I don't really ride at night time anyway uh, unless it's early early morning in winter but yeah so it's no big deal and if I do I've got this light on and I've still got that as a backup anyway so no need it's in a good spot it's easy to get to I've got everything in there um, I reckon you can pick the scooter up uh, that's oh so yeah uh, put a bit of fuel hose just down there um, just to stop it rubbing when I got it inside on the tiles but I've got everything in there that I need probably can't see it but there's a pump tire repair kit battery bank and a cable and uh, yeah she goes good so I'll leave it like that it's pretty tight nice and neat as well so yeah that looks good so you got the screws encapsulated in there or the bolt sorry or the nut nuts in there it's nice and tight that's not scratched that's um this resin 3d printer as soon as it touches anything it just makes a mark um, you can rub it with water and it'll come off so that's not a big deal I relocated this too this used to be down here and it was resting on these wires a bit so I've lifted it so that way these reflectors are actually holding it that's a lock um, that works really well too and it's good that it's just always there for you uh, the bags probably a little bit off center but oh yeah it moves a little bit oh actually that bottom one I forgot to tighten up <laughs> I've got to tighten that one up there you can see that's still loose but that that one's tight so yeah I'll just nip that up but um, otherwise yeah we're done that's a uh, looking good now um, I would have preferred it on this side but like I said this profile is only for these brackets to fit this one one way so it doesn't matter um, all good it still still looks alright and it still folds which is the main thing because I've got to put it in and out of the car every now and again so um, yeah all good I don't know when we're going to get them out next my back's still a bit broken so um, yeah I can't be standing up for too long but uh, when it's all better we'll take it for another spin I might actually chuck it in the car we'll drive to the city we'll go around the city with it so yeah see what we see there but anyway thanks for watching catch you next time